think if we could get rid of complaining and nagging, could you think about validating others rather than invalidating them? What a different planet this would be. Martin Blank is one of my absolute favorite artists in the United States. I've seen his work, I collect his work, it's so good to see you, and he's just a magnificent is that, and brilliantly is that, creative artist. This looks like somebody I know. My whole goal is to show some of the leaders of humanity, but in a very abstract manner. So like you have some type of Buddha figure, some type of Mother Mary figure, some type of tall Nordic figure, and now I've started working with him on a piece, and it's so absolutely thrilling. It's the most exciting thing I've done. In the world. Does everyone get a sense, good sense of what we're gonna do? They were all different thinkers. Yeah. They all looked at life differently. I had this grand idea to really uplift and educate and enlighten people. It's sort of, it, it really, the theme is honoring some of the great souls that have come down to humanity. It'll be at least, what's that, nine feet? And then we've got a Mary-esque it's I an embracement. This if we can. Do that. If we we can, can. Do that, this is what we're. That would be my ideal scene. So this is another classic Mary, right? And it goes yeah, like that. I think her head should be looking really straight odd. forward, not about head. Straight head. Thank you. All sorts of different people who have really uplifted our society on planet Earth. Buddha, for me, represents enlightenment on this planet. He was one of the first beings, earthly beings, that was enlightened. And then I have that favorite quote always, though you can conquer a thousand men in battle a thousand times. The one who conquers himself, his hatreds, his ignorance, his prejudice, is the noblest victor of all. It's trying to create something that's uplifting and meaningful that talks about the bigger why in this world. And so it's a combination of your aesthetic and my aesthetic in making an inspiring piece that talks about the greatness and potential of humanity. What I want to do is show the best of humanity and what else is here so we can start looking toward the future. It's a whole new color technique. I call it cloisonnade blue. We start out with steel blue and every gather we apply silver leaf to it and we have to quench it in water twice or else the silver burns off. So there's like five gathers and we end up just layers and layers and layers of silver. And so that way you look into it and you can see deep inside the blue. So I'm following the form and then the form goes right up into mm. that one. Mm -hmm. And I call, I call it carving space. Mm. And then the, the juxtaposition between the two forms, the, what's this tension like? Because you pull it apart a little bit and if you pull it too far, they lose the tension. There's a, suddenly there's this, just this sweet spot where they just yeah. <laughs> snap yeah, yeah. together. And the same with the colors too. And without the clear, you see the band of clear here yeah. and the band of clear here, you don't experience the color. You just get oversaturated. Turning to me is a fabulous concept. Just to turn. I mean, the easiest thing man does is change his mind. Mm. If you're going in the wrong direction, it's your choice. Yeah. You can choose to go to the right direction. Yeah. Like, Yeah. Yeah, that would be perfect it's right there. It's going to make people take a look and think about their own lives. It's fun. See if they're being the positive person that they could be. This is something. I'm hoping that this piece will be one of the most inspirational and uplifting pieces of art that's ever been made. It's done. Consider this piece fabulously beautiful, fantastically amazing. This is such a dramatic piece. I'm really proud. You know, it's it's working. The macro I mean, and the you micro. you look in, it's yeah. like... Yeah, that floating, I mean, that's... It's like you can look into these or you, you can look at it as the whole installation. It's still, it's a fascinating yeah. creation. And when you see glass lit up, it's alive. Thank you. Really beautiful. I'm so in love with this work, you know? It's just really something beyond. Your living is determined not so much by what life brings to you as by the attitude you bring to life. Not so much by what happens to you as by the way your mind 
looks at what happened. The true meaning of life. We are visitors on this planet. We are here for 90 or 100 years at the very most. During that period, we must try to do something good, something useful with our lives. If you contribute to other people's happiness, you will find the true meaning of life. Be grateful and don't compare yourself to others. Be inspired by them. Imagine that you're always positive and then become that person who is positive for the rest of your life.